Hi, I'm Paulina from Tilda. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and customize maps on Tilda. I've prepared a page for a music festival. Let's add the interactive Google map to help our visitors to find the location. The steps are almost the same for all blocks with the map. I'll be using block number T143 from the section Other. By default, you will see the mark for development purposes only on your map. It means that the API key is missing. According to Google Map policy, one should have an API key to use the map. Let's open the menu Content in the top left corner of the block and find the field Map API key. I've got the API key prepared in advance, but you must get one for yourself from Google Cloud Platform. I'll show you how to get it later in the video. The guide on the API key and the link to the Google Map platform are always available on the top of the content section. You can also find these links in the video description. Let's save changes and check the result. If you want to zoom the map in or out, you can do this by adding the number here. In my case, 16 will be enough, I think. Let's save changes and take a look. Let's add a geographical point. Title marker is a text label next to a pin on a map. You can replace text with your own. Let it be summer stage in Central Park, New York. There are two ways to add your location on the map. You can either fill in the latitude and longitude fields or search the place directly on the map as you would normally do while looking for a cafe, for example. I've prepared the coordinates, so I simply paste them here. See the steps to find location's coordinates under this video. Here we go, the pin appears immediately on the map. Click more to add more pins if you need. Now let's open settings for the block customization. First, define the map's container size. I'm going to make it for 10 columns by 485 pixels. Let's save changes and check how it looks now. You can apply Google Maps style from the list or leave the default one. The language used for the map interface is also customizable. Paste the two-letter code to modify it. English is set by default. Paddings are used to create white space between blocks and elements that help us to organize content better and structure the whole page. I think two lines will be enough. You can also apply a background color to attract user attention to the map. Here's the result. I think it looks nice. Now let me show you how to add the API key to our map. Open a Google Cloud Platform console page. The direct link can be found in the Help Center. On the Google Cloud console page, you will need to create a project and activate the Google Maps API key. First, please sign into your Google account profile, then click Create Project. In the Project Name entry field, tap the name of your project. It will be used in the Google Cloud Console page. After the project has been created, select the Maps JavaScript API. To activate it, hit the Enable button. In the Credential section, you need to get a key for using Google Maps and set the restrictions. To create credentials under APIs and Services, select Credentials, click Create Credentials here on top and select API key. Once you have added a key, let's set the restrictions. Under Application Restrictions, select HTTP Referrers Websites, then under Website Restrictions, click Add an item and insert a link to your website. In the API Restrictions section, apply the key Restrictions, select Maps JavaScript API. Save changes. To complete the process, you also need to create a Google Billing account and enter your payment card details. You can find all information on how to create a billing account in the Help Center. After creating a payment account on the Credentials page in the API and Services section, Copy the API key to use Google Maps. Let's go back to the tilde editor. Let's open the block content and insert the key for using Google Maps in the Map API key field. Save the changes and publish the page.
done. Thank you so much for watching.